If we look at this picture, we can see all sorts of resources, but the resource we're going to focus on, of course, is wind. Let's take a look at the video here. The video here that we're seeing is wind, and what is wind doing? Wind is actually a resource. We can use it. We can use it to get power from it. So if we erect, if we build a windmill like this in, uh, in nature or in the, in the plains, uh, what happens is that wind that we're using as a natural resource will spin that uh, turbine will spin those blades and it will create electricity. It will generate electricity and we can use that for our home. But if you think about it, actually all of this, we're using all of these things for resources. We're using the ground, the soil as a resource to grow plants, right? So there's a lot of different things from nature that we use and we call these resources. A natural resource, we're talking about this, of course, is something from nature that people can use. Water, air, wood, and minerals are natural resources. So like I said in that picture, and in this picture too, when we look, all of these things we can use as a resource. We can use the ground to grow crops. We can use the trees uh, to build houses. We can use the wind to capture their energy and turn that energy into electricity. So there's, we're surrounded by natural resources. We're surrounded by nature. We can use those resources to help make our lives better. But of course we have to be careful about using those resources. We can't use too much too fast and we have to make sure that we leave enough uh, for other uh, reasons or other people that will come after us also. So that's an interesting thing. But we use all sorts of different resources or materials as resources. Let's take a look. A mineral. One of the things that I talked about on the previous side is minerals. You probably, you of course know water, air, and, and soil, you know that, but what exactly is a mineral? This might be a different word for you. A mineral though is very important in our daily lives. We may not think about it, but we use minerals all the time. A mineral is basically a substance that comes from rock and soil. Minerals are non-living things, but be careful. Uh, a, a mineral is different from a rock. A mineral is a certain type of chemical element that, is, uh, that comes all together in rock. Okay, now this is a rock, right? A rock is not a mineral. A rock is made up of different kinds of minerals all clumped together. That's a rock. If we take that mineral apart and we just have the one mineral, then we call that, that's the mineral. Okay, so it's interesting that a rock is not a mineral. Let's take a look at a video of a mineral. Now, it might not be an exciting video because minerals don't do anything. They are non-living things. They don't move. But let's take a look at the video, okay? This, of course, is a mineral, and we can see it through a magnifying glass. And if you take a magnifying glass and you look at minerals, some minerals are very beautiful and very interesting to look at because they have certain shapes. They have geometrical shapes, which are very interesting to look at. You know, uh, some of this, this, you know, this is an okay mineral, but some minerals have crystals, right? And, and all different kinds of shapes, different kinds of colors. Some of them can be very beautiful, especially if you look at them with a magnifying glass, by the way. This is a magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. Is my head in the way? Magnifying glass, okay? And we put glass here, because what does it do? It's a piece of glass which magnifies. It magnifies. It makes it larger. So we call that a magnifying glass. And we can see small things with the magnifying glass. And we can take a really good look at minerals with a magnifying glass. Okay, another type of resource that we use that I talked about already a little bit is wood. And of course wood comes from trees. We cut them down, chop the branches off, and what we have left is wood. The material from trees used to make paper, furniture, etc. Etc. includes houses, walls, right? Roofs. A long time ago, before people really started using steel or uh, 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 concrete, wood was the primary source for making homes. Most homes were made from wood. But again, we've got to be careful about using too much wood. We have to leave some trees in the forest 
uh, to grow and make new trees. We can't take them all at the same time, so we have to be careful about how much wood we use at a certain time. Of course, it doesn't look good either if we cut down a whole forest. What people will do now, they'll go in the forest and they'll take a tree here and a tree there. They won't cut down the whole forest, they'll cut down trees here and there and leave most of the trees standing, and that's good practice. That's good policy. But anyway, wood is a type of natural resource. Okay, another resource is gold. Now gold, we were just talking about minerals, right? Gold is a type of mineral. It's a very famous type of mineral. Why is it so famous? Because gold was used for money for thousands of years. It still is used as money. But of course, we don't usually use gold as money because it's, if you put it in your pocket, well, it's very heavy to carry around. It's also very expensive. We see that gold is a precious. What does precious mean? Precious means expensive, right? It's very expensive. It's very valuable. Why is gold precious? One of the main reasons is because gold is very rare. I've heard before that if you took all the gold that has ever been found and mined in the world, you would only be able to cover a tennis court, one tennis court up to a certain height with that gold. Think about that. That's not a lot of gold. So gold is rare. That's why it's very precious. Okay. It's also yellow. The color is yellow. It's bright yellow. It's a shiny yellow. And the reason, uh, that's one more reason why gold is precious is because it's very beautiful. Uh, when people see gold, they say, wow, it's shiny. It, it looks attractive. So people are attracted to it. And one more reason why gold is, is precious is because gold is soft. Uh, people who work with gold can easily uh, change its shape. It's very easy to work with. So it's soft and it doesn't shatter. You can make it into a ring. Of course, I have a silver ring. I don't have a gold ring. I, I, I'm not, I don't have that much money maybe. But uh, anyway, gold can be made into rings, into earrings. I wouldn't wear earrings or necklaces. Sometimes you see guys with big heavy gold necklaces on. So gold is also used a lot for jewelry. Okay, so gold, a precious yellow mineral. Gold is used for jewelry, as I've just said. Rings, uh, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, all types of different jewelry. So this is why gold is precious and it's very famous. Used for money, used for jewelry. Okay, also another uh, famous type of mineral is silver. Now silver is similar to gold. Uh, it's also been used for money. It's also used for jewelry, but it's not as, sh as colorful as gold, and it's not as rare. Silver is more common than gold, so it's not as expensive. Silver, we can see the color. We can say it's a shiny gray mineral. Like I said, my ring is silver, right? So it's a shiny gray colored material, as you can see here. Silver is used for making knives and forks. In fact, uh, we have a word in English that we usually use to talk about that, and we call it silverware. Silverware. Silverware, if you go to somebody's house and they, they talk about where is the silverware, they're talking about the knives, the forks, and the spoons. So knives, forks, and spoons made from silver, we call that silverware. Now rich families in the past, their knives, forks, and spoons were actually made of silver. So that's why they called it silverware. And of course, silver is also used sometimes for money. It's also used for jewelry, okay? But silver uh, is another very common type of mineral. Another very common type of mineral that's similar in uh, style as gold and silver is copper. Of course, copper is, is, a very, is a lot more common than gold. And copper is an orange mineral. Why do we use copper? By the way, copper is also used as money. A long time ago, they used copper also as money. So the most expensive mineral we've talked about, we can go gold is the most expensive, right? Gold is the most. Then we have silver. That's in the middle. Oops, I forgot my L. Silver is here. My V is very big. Okay. Okay, silver. And then we have copper. That's in the middle. Okay. And then copper is very common. It is also the least expensive. Copper is common. It's also the least expensive. So we could say least 
expensive. And that's important because I'll explain in a bit. But copper is the least expensive. Gold is the most expensive. Silver is in the middle. Okay, so copper is an orange mineral. It's orange, okay, if you take a look at it. Electricity travels through copper. So although we did use copper a lot for, for money, and we still do, if you look at the American money, the penny, the penny is made of copper. So, you know, it's a very small coin, but you know, it's not that valuable. Copper is the least expensive. But copper, the, the most we use copper for is for wires, electricity. When we want our electricity to come from our plug in the wall to our computer or to our electronic device, that wire is made of copper. Now, by the way, it's interesting to note, we can use gold, silver, or copper to move electricity. In fact, gold is a much better mineral for moving electricity. Electricity moves much more quickly and efficiently through gold than it does through copper, but we don't use gold in our wires. Why not? Because it's the most expensive, <laughs> okay? If you had gold wiring in your home, your home would be worth a lot of money and it would be too expensive. So we have to use copper. Copper is good enough to use to move electricity through. By the way, we could also use silver, but again, silver is too expensive to just use in a wire. So most of the time we use copper in, uh, uh, in electronic devices or in the wiring in our houses. Okay, so let's move on. Now, we were talking about natural resources before and I made the point that you know we have to be careful when we use natural resources. We don't want to harm the environment. Now, things that are harmful, things that are harmful cause harm. Uh, some factories give off harmful material into the air. So if the factories are using natural resources, they might be burning something. Another natural resource that is not talked about here is coal. Coal is another type of mineral. And perhaps a factory will burn coal to produce electricity. What happens? When you burn something, you get a lot of smoke. Right? You get a lot of smoke. And if there's a lot of smoke in the air, that coal is going up, it's getting into the air, that's not good for the atmosphere. We, if we breathe it, that can be harmful to us. If it falls down and gets into our water, that can be harmful to us. So we have to be careful how we use natural resources. Okay. We want to protect the environment. We want to keep our environment clean. We don't want to cut down too many trees. We don't want to use up all the water. We want to keep uh, most of our environment, we have to keep it clean. Clean, of course, means not dirty, right? When you go home, uh, if you've been playing outside and you go home, it's time to eat dinner, your mom looks at your hands and says, hey, your hands are not clean, they're dirty, okay? So go clean your hands. Make get rid of all the dirt, all the pollution, off all the pollutants, the uh, dirt off of your hands. So clean air and water is good for people. Of course, if we breathe in clean air, that's very good for us, right? There's no smoke in the air. There's no harmful substances in the air. We need clean air. We also need clean water. When we drink water, it has to be clean. There shouldn't be any harmful things in the water that we drink. Okay. Lesson 9. Natural Resources Natural Resource Something from nature that people can use. Water, air, wood, and minerals are natural resources. Mineral A substance that comes from rock and soil. Minerals are non-living things. Wood The material from trees used to make paper, furniture, etc. Gold A precious yellow mineral. Gold is used for jewelry. Silver A shiny gray mineral. Silver is used for making knives and forks. Copper An orange mineral. Electricity travels through copper. Harmful Causing harm. 
Some factories give off harmful materials into the air. Clean. Not dirty. Clean air and water is good for people.